this is a video to show the expansion of water at room temperature something that's never been done before we have a flask that is uh, teared so that the weight of the flask is on the scale here at um, 76.1 grams and what we're going to do this is a 200 mil flask with a line right here that shows when you get up to the 200 mils where it should be what we're going to do, we're going to add 100 mils of water to this flask and then we're going to add 100 mils of Ageless Secret Gold and we're going to see that the line should be right at right here where the, where the marker is. If it's above it, it shows that the water has been expanded. So the first thing we're going to do is add 100 mils of distilled water. Now that would equal 100 grams, so I'm going to set the scale to 100 grams and it should be exactly at the 100 mark. I'm just going to go slow and put the water in here so we don't go over. Okay, now we're going to go slow because we're getting close and we'll use an eyedropper and we'll just squirt a little bit in at a time as we close in on the 100 mark. 100 grams of water by definition is 100 mils of um, solution. So it's, it's the same thing as measuring it volumetrically, and that's why we're using the scale. It's getting closer now. There we go, we're closing in on it now. So that is just under a hundred. We're right on. That's a hundred grams. So we'll add another hundred. We'll move this over. Another hundred. And now we'll add the Ageless Secret Gold.
and we're pretty close. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a dropper. And we want to get right to that line. And not go over right away. Here we are. I think we're pretty close. And there. That is right on the mark. And you can see on the scale, we don't have 200 grams. We have a little less. Which means that the liquid in this flask has expanded. It weighs less than it should for 200 mils. What we can do now is add each drop and count the number of drops. And two drops is a tenth of a mil. So we're going to see how many more extra mils we actually have of solution to get to the 200 gram mark. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight, nine, Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Looks like thirteen. Oh, we need more. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. Anyone's pretty close. Twenty two, twenty two, a little more. Twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. So there's twenty five drops that we've added. That is the amount of expansion of the solution. I'm going to cap this and just mix it once or twice. There we go. And then just set it here. And you can clearly see the volume at 200 grams is greater by that number of drops that's a significant amount of expansion of water. This is the first time ever that water has been shown that it can be expanded at room temperature. No heat has been added. It has not been made colder. Ice is the ultimate example of expanded water. It's 9% and you have to get obviously freeze it and it becomes what's called crystallized and as it's expanded and structured is believed scientifically in order to have expanded the water you have to have restructured the water. So what you're looking at here for the first time in the history of science is structured water being proven that it exists. There's no other scientific test that has ever shown that it is possible to structure water at room temperature.